and since we know we're always changing, how can it be seen? And tell me how, year after year, you're sure your heart will fall apart each time you hear. Not from what I heard. Did I wake you? Well, yeah, unless I'm dreaming. Sorry, darling, I've lost my keys again. Oh, where were you then? In the New York City, remember? The uh, wine commercial, 45 takes, let me tell you. Oh, oh yeah, I remember. Sorry, it slipped my mind. A few things came up. Yeah. From what I heard, you must be exhausted. What do you mean? You talked to somebody? Bobby? Who? No, I didn't have to talk to anybody, darling. It looks like the Spencer name has made headlines again. Oh, no. Well, it's not that bad. Look at it. Pretty good. So, uh, local hero, you want to tell me about it? No big deal. I was just doing my civic duty in an effort to support poor Charles' finest. Well, it's one thing to talk about it, but it's entirely another to experience it. Oh, come on. We can't have this one, all right? Yeah, just barely. What did you think being a police commissioner was all about? I don't know. I suppose I thought it had more to do with political fighting than hand-to-hand -hand combat with lunatics in hospital cafeterias. All in a day's work. Yes, that's what I have to get used to, isn't it? I suppose your job is going to put you in a lot of danger. And I hope often. I wish you were kidding. Well, does it really bother you? It does make me a little nervous, yes. Oh, police work isn't all that bad. Huh. On the other hand, there are times when it gets properly up my nose. Commissioner Scorpio? Yes. This is Hector Gerald. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Mm. Not at all. You up early? Well, I apologize for calling at this hour, but I have the most remarkable news. And I knew you'd want to hear it right away. I don't care how important it is, it's dangerous for us to meet here in the hall. Do you think I would have suggested it if it weren't absolutely necessary? All right. What's the problem? We need to talk. I'm listening at some length, and not here. What about? I need a detailed description of Dr. Gerald's lab. I want you to draw me a map. Why? I should think that would be obvious. I'll make you a map, but later. I've got to get back inside. Celia, you could wake up any minute. Fine, I'll expect you downstairs in half an hour. We'll meet in the bar. I'll try to make it. You'll do more than that. You'll be there. I don't think you realize the urgency here. Jail could complete his disc any day now. We must be prepared to seize it the moment it's finished. I understand. I'll see you downstairs in 30 minutes. I can't believe it. I hardly can myself. I mean, you've actually finished. The Prometheus disc is a reality at long last. I hadn't realized you were so close to completing it. Neither had I. But these things happen. Inspiration can strike at the oddest times. Yours must have hit last night. As a matter of fact, it did. In the middle of the night. A time I always get my best ideas. Well, whatever the time, I'm glad it came to you this quickly. So strange. Suddenly, the idea just popped into my head. I've had the same experience in my work. Creativity is such a mystery. Its wonders never cease to amaze me. Well, may I be the first to congratulate you. But perhaps you should save that until we see how well it works. For now, let's just say that the Prometheus disc is no longer an old man's dream. You have some doubts about its eventual success? Not anymore. I still have a few minor corrections and, of course, some tests, but those are to be expected. I certainly don't see any serious problems. In fact, I think I can promise you with all due modesty that my disc will be a great success for this country. Precisely why security now is more important than ever. Unfortunately, 
Don't misunderstand me. I know it's necessary and I'm grateful. But it's ironic that with my greatest success comes my least freedom. I, hopefully not for long. We'll need to keep you under wraps until the testing of the disc is completed. So what do you want me to do? You stay where you are. You wait for me in your lab and I'll be right over. Very well. You going out? Yeah, as soon as I get dressed. Do you really think that's a good idea? It's unavoidable. But you've hardly given yourself a chance to get over the gunshot wound. To do it on the run. You really should take the day off. Not today. Too important. So is your health. I'm fine. Really. I've got to call Connie. Damn. You've got her number? <laughs> no, her schedule. She's in New York doing some security work for Luke's casino. I'll have to talk, tell her later. Where are you going? I have to get dressed. And you better do the same thing. What's the hurry? I may need you. Uh, when you get dressed, you meet me down here, all right? What am I dressing for? Lunch in a nice restaurant or sneaking around in the bushes looking for spies? I'd say be prepared for anything. 